guys welcome back to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today is a little bit of a different video for me um it's about the kids hair basically i really like watching these kind of videos because it gives me ideas for the girls hairstyles um if it's your first time here um i'm lucy and i have two little girls they are nearly three and nearly four um and they both have very long hair. They neither of them ever had a haircut other than me just literally trimming the ends off. Um, and with the weather being as warm as it has been recently, and just in general, to be honest, even in the winter, it's quite good because it, when it's windy, they don't like it in their faces. So initially, when I first had them and they, their hair started to get longer, they would not let me do it. They wouldn't let me put bubbles in it. They wouldn't let me do anything. So they were just giant haired children um but now they like to have pretty hair and they request specific princesses and things like that so i thought i would do a video of some easy hairstyles for kids um for having the girls i literally couldn't do a french plait or a infinity braid or any, i just couldn't do anything for hair um and i've just taught myself by watching videos like this so i thought i would do some for you so if you like these kind of videos do give this one a thumbs up you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come including more kids videos but yeah let's jump in and do some hair okay this first one is just a french plait or french braid um, and i like to dampen their hair a little bit to start with just to make it easier because the hair is very fine and fly away um my plaits never ever stay right in the center so i don't try and be too even or too neat with it you just separate into three for a normal plait and then you pull it tight against the head and then as you pull each bit over from the outside you just grab a little tiny bit of extra hair um this took me ages to be able to learn how to do this like i was practicing all the time on myself um because i didn't want to practice on them because i still want to be pulling the hair about now um, but now i can do it relatively quickly but again i don't worry about it being even or if it starts you'll see at the end it's sort of it's not directly down the center of her head but i do like to start right at the front and that gets all her flyaway bits and it keeps them all in and then you just keep going and pulling it in you can comb little bits if you want to like i just did there if you want to just get rid of some flyaways and then once you've got all of the hair in you'll just end up doing a normal plait at the end which i will start to do in a second you just keep pulling just from the sides and just slowly working your way crossing them over as you would a normal plait and then when you get to the end you just braid it as a normal plait like that and then tie it off with a bobble and Mika calls this princess hair yeah. <laughs> just a really simple one this is just some bunches this is my littler daughter this is little fish and she is two um she'll be three in october but she does not like sitting and having her hair done very much so i always try and do something just really sit quick and simple for her so i've just gone for some standard bunches or pigtails i don't know what people call them around the world i call them bunches um i've gone for a center part in she just noticed the camera there and was all excited um i just brush them and then put some bobbles in. I did this bobble really badly, so I'm gonna redo it again in a second. I like to do them quite high um, and towards the front of her head rather than right at the back, because then it holds in her flyaways from the front. And yeah, you could plait them, I suppose, afterwards or do them as plaits, but again, her hair is so fine, it just won't stay in plaits and she hates it in her face. Sorry, look at mummy. You got pretty hair? You wanna see? PJ Ma. Mommy! I found cake! Okay. This next style, um, the girls have called unicorn hair because it's just two plaits basically, but one is right on the top of their head. So you need to section off the top part of their hair. Um, I'm never really that precise with this. I just kind of 
get it as even as I can and then just clip that up and then get the rest of the hair and put it into a ponytail um, and I do this as kind of like a mid ponytail rather than a low or a high and then once that is done I'll get the top bit in a bobble and again I always make sure these are really tight um, not so they hurt them not tight enough to hurt them but tight enough so that the flyaways stay in and then I just flat a little bit of hair and tie it off with a bobble and then I do the same with the ponytail section um, and tie that off and then I will put a little tiny clip or a bow or whatever they request today she requested a little pink bow in the front and it's just a really easy nice hairstyle this would be good for nursery in my opinion Mika, what hair have you got? Okay, hair. Unicorn hair. You love it? Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Look at mummy. Wow. This next one is a super simple um, space buns, basically. Mika calls this mini mouse hair because it looks like Minnie Mouse ears if you do it a little bit looser. Um, if we're just around the house for the day and she asks for this, I'll just do really loose sort of high ponytails and then very loose buns. But today we were going out and it's a bit windy, so I wanted all her hair to be contained. So I've just parted it as best I can because her crowns and her parting is just where it feels like it. So it's not a centre part, it's just where it wants to go. So we're going to do two high ponytails. I like to get these as high up as possible. And just make sure all her little flyaway hairs are trapped in. And then once they're in their bobbles, I will twist the hair and wrap it around itself and then just secure it with a bobble or a curvy grip. Today I've just done a couple of little bobbles. And it's as simple as that. Uh, you happy? Yeah. You on see? Wow. So good? Yeah. Let me look at the back. You lucky little sausage with your mini mouse here. Yeah. Good job. This next one for little fish is one that I haven't tried to do before, but I saw it on Pinterest um, and I thought it was really, really cute. So I thought we'd give it a go. Basically, I'm just brushing her hair and then letting it part where it wants to. And I'm going to do some French braids at the side, but not her whole hair just the little front section so I'm going to start off right at the front to make sure her little fringy bits get in and then it's just a French braid so it's just start off as a normal braid and then just slowly work your way down adding in extra hair from each side as you go and I am completely leaving the back of her hair you will see what I mean in a second I'm just braiding the sides so once I've got this braided as far down as I want I will stop adding hair into the French braid and just flat it and then put a bobble on the end and you will see what I mean in a second just keep adding it and then I kind of got all the hair that I wanted so just braided it halfway down didn't do to the end because it's not all going to be in a plait and then just secured it with a temporary bobble for now and then I'm going to do the same to the other side and I'm going to speed through the next side because you've just seen me do it on that side so let's just do this side super, super fast. I wish I could do it this quickly. And then once we're like that, I am just putting both of these little plaits on the top with a grip. And then I'm just brushing the bottom half of her hair that I haven't braided just so it's not tangly. Then I'm going to get a bobble that she wants, which is a pink one, and hold them together. Pull out the original two bobbles and secure them together with the bobble that she has chosen. And then that's it. Just a half up, half down little hairstyle. Sorry. Super pretty. Sorry, look at mummy. Wow.